Good day, folks. Now the title is just not some clickbait. There's actually some hidden commands that you can use with your voice for the Hero 5 that aren't documented, and I'll kind of go over them now. So everybody's well aware now that you can control the Hero 5 with your voice. You can get it to do various tasks. One of the tasks is getting it to add a highlight tag. So let's just boot the camera up here, and we're going to go right into recording mode. So the traditional way to add a highlight tag is you just say GoPro Highlight. And you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, it's now added a highlight tag. If you don't know what those are, basically it just helps for editing after you're done recording. When you put it into your GoPro Studio or whatever editor you're using, it can look for these tags. And that way you know where the action is, where there's good spots, so you don't have to go through hours of footage. But there's some hidden ones here, and they're kind of peculiar. And I'm going to warn you here, there's going to be some foul language. So if you have young kids around, or you're in a place where that would not be appropriate, I would pause the video now or turn the volume down. So the first one's pretty pretty tame and pretty basic. It is, that was sick. So you can see there, it's now added another tag. That was sick. See, there it is again. Now the next one is, oh shit. Weird, eh? There goes another tag. Oh shit. Shit. Sometimes you can just say it, get it with just the one syllable word. So very odd that they would add these new commands. I'm not sure when they were introduced, if they're in the original release. I have no way of testing because all mine are updated to the latest firmware. So yeah, that is very peculiar. Now I do have a theory why they've added them, and I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing more similar tagging commands. Basically, if anybody watched any of Nick Woodman's CES 2017 interviews, he talked about the GoPro and the future, where the company's headed. And one of the interesting things he talked about was a more streamlined marriage between the GoPro and your smartphone. Now, this is for easy editing. He has a vision, and he did mention that that could be coming later this year even, where the GoPro is more of an accessory to your smartphone. So by that, he means that everybody carries a smartphone in their pocket. So you have a computer in your pocket that you can do some pretty amazing things with. So they want to take full advantage of that. Now, what was mentioned was taking footage on your GoPro and automatically having it transferred to your smartphone without interaction from you. And not only having that, but also being edited without interaction from you via the Quick App. If you let it, if you feel comfortable with its capabilities and its decision making while editing. So I think that's what we're maybe seeing here. It's kind of the building blocks for that. In order for Quick to make edits that we're happy with that, you know, we're going to like, it needs to have good footage. It needs to know what is good footage and what's not. So I think what we're seeing here is between audio cues, the sensors in the camera that can tell when different things are going on, you know, whether you're upside down, flying through the air, smart algorithms, you know, analyzing the footage, it can now get a better sense of what's going on. And the audio cues are really important because when you think about it, when something interesting is going on and you're filming yourself or another subject, there's always some kind of audio that can give that away, like you're screaming, yelling, laughing, cursing. So I think that's where these tags are coming in is that it's going to be part of their new setup that we're supposed to be seeing later this year where you can record. It's going to be transferred automatically to your phone. And by the time you're done doing your activity, you've got some nice edits waiting for you that can be shared instantly or shared automatically if you give it permission. Now, just imagine that you've got this strap to your head. You're skiing down a hill. By the time you get to the bottom of the hill and take your skis off, there's already an edit on your phone waiting for you. And not only an edit, but a good edit with all the highlights, everything that uh, would make for a nice video that you would want to watch. So yeah, I think that may be what we're seeing here, and it'll be really interesting to see how far they go with it. Now, he did mention that it should be available later this year, that full system, and whether it's going to be making use of the Hero 5 or maybe a new product that's going to be coming, maybe a refresh of the Hero 5, or possibly even a Hero 6. That part's still unclear. And again, this is just all theory of why they've added that, but in my mind, it kind of makes sense. And uh, wow, what a, what a great time to be alive. Technology is moving so quick, and it's making things so easy. If you're like me, I'm not a big fan of editing. 
I sometimes enjoy it, but it can be a little tedious, especially when you got hours worth of footage. I have footage on my computer from five years ago that I still haven't got at doing anything with, just because sometimes it gets to be so much and it just it overwhelms you. So having a smart, having smart algorithms and sensors that can do all the editing for you, and uh, that would just actually be really fantastic. So I think that's all for this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. If you have any comments or any thoughts to what I just talked about, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. You can click this button over here to subscribe. I'll include some other videos over here that you might be interested in. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.